Hi guys, this is Tom Jordan. Um, this is going to be our video series on survival. Um, there's lots of reasons people choose to do it. Doesn't matter if it's uh, anything from I want to be prepared at home for a three day power outage to I'm afraid the zombies are coming or the aliens are coming. Um, you can be an average family of four, you can wear a tinfoil hat. It really doesn't matter because a lot of the principles apply to both extremes. Um, but the point is, most all of us need to have some level of preparation at home and on the road. Uh, if you use a couple examples from our recent history, you've got Hurricane Katrina. People were trapped for days, weeks, months with no, no chance to resupply, no power, horrible conditions, flooded areas, um, vandalism, all kinds of things. And then you've got things like last year, last, um, it was January, February, uh, up in the northern states, we had places where the roads just were flooded with snow and ice, way more than they expected, way more than the state DOT could handle. People got trapped on interstates and because they were clogged with ice. People got trapped in their cars, some overnight, um, I, if I'm not mistaken, some died, uh, just trying to make the trip home. So well, we're going to teach you how to approach survival from a lot of different aspects, and we're going to try to do it in bite-sized pieces because I've learned that my viewers, I love you all, don't like my long videos. So we're going to do them in short kind of chapters. So this is chapter one. It's just going to kind of sort of introduce the concepts and what we're going to cover. So if you're curious, we're going to cover everything from food preparation, um, food preparation at home versus uh, things you might want to keep in your vehicle. We're going to cover bug out bags, everyday carry bags, family bags. We're going to cover stocking food at home. We're going to cover communications, radio, shortwave, GMRS, FRS, MURS, um, why you might want one. And if those terms don't mean anything to you, well, good. Watch that chapter and maybe you'll find something out you know, that you didn't know. We're going to cover um, cool tools, things that uh, you can buy that are affordable that you might can put in your, your carry bag or in the glove compartment of your vehicle. Um, I've had the advantage of been, been doing this for about four years. And uh, so I bought the cheap stuff. I bought the nice stuff eventually. Um, I know what works for me. It's not going to all be what works for you. It's not going to be what works in your climate, your part of the country. But overall, I hope you'll find some things that you can take home from this and you can enjoy and learn from. And th just, just to be clear, this is not the end all be all of survival video series. There are thousands of these out, out there. There are thousands of people that have great advice. I'm just trying to have a goal to put it in one place where I can give you as much advice as I can, in bite sized pieces, easy to find, and easy to apply. So that's the goal. This is the first video. There's a lot more to come. Uh, the blog information should be right there, directly below me here if, if I put this in YouTube right. And, um, Check us out on the blog, and of course, stay tuned to the YouTube channel. Thanks, y'all. Have a great day.